Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Thanatos. It has been uh, introduced to the game and um, I have to say I expected a little bit more. So let me talk about the build for today and then we are getting into the game and then I will address um, a little topic that I really don't like about the Thanatos. Now as you can see we are running the Thanatos 5S. We are running two AC-10s. This is really cool. We have very high ballistic hard points. This is great for peaking. We have good range. We have good DPS. We don't run hot in the build and this is what I really like about it. On top of it we could of course have that ECM going on. We have jump jets in a 75 ton mech. And uh, yeah, as our backup weapons, we choose uh, two ER medium lasers. As you can see, we're running four cool, not cool shots, double heat sinks, four double heat sinks, four tons of ammo. It's a very straightforward build, but I have a feeling that other mechs can do it kind of better. Let's say um, a catapult K2 can load more lasers. And uh, of course, it doesn't have the Guardian ECM and the jump jets, but it's a 65 tonner, which I, I, I don't know, it feels better. But again, I'm going to address it in the game later. The skill build for this is not finished, but um, I have invested 76 skill points so far. And as you can see, we are running half of the uh, firepower tree here. We are going for cooldown mainly. We want magazine capacity and a little bit of heat gen doesn't hurt as well. I run full survivability except for AMS overload and that one reinforced casing here because it's a node that I can skip um, because of the Thanatos being very big and boxy and it is not good in terms of survivability so I have to amp it up a little bit with that. I skip mobility because I really don't need it. I skip jump jets because I really don't need it operations as well. We are running a very cold, cold build. So therefore cool run or heat containment is not needed. But I'm running the dual ECM nodes here in the left and in the right arm of the sensors tree. And I have that value consumable slot here. That is the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Rubelet Oasis. We are playing Skirmish, which means we could just stay close to our Assault Max and uh, then do the Murder Ball shenanigans. Mostly because uh, I'm not very comfortable with the survivability of the Thanatos because it has massive side boxes, hit side hit boxes, side torso, board torso, hit side boxes. And um, yeah, it is very easy to target and very, very easy to destroy one side. And then you remove a lot of firepower from the Thanatos you remove a lot of heat management from the Thanatos and uh, you know, some people are even running XL on that. Never ever do that! So I really hope that PGI is going to rework it a little bit. Um, maybe, I don't know, making the side horses a little bit smaller or just adding quirks. It definitely needs armor quirks. It has some structure now but I think it's not enough. It, it, just, it just doesn't feel right. It feels so squishy. But anyway, let's focus on the game. Um, I want to get into a nice forward position here. We can shoot at about 500 meter. And we do some um, some pop tart shenanigans, or we could do that. So this is a kilometer away. If I shot them, I wouldn't deal damage. Okay, we got a king crab, we got a victor, we got a Kodiak. That's good. That's actually pretty solid. Wait, did I hear light gauss from the victor? Is he running a dual light gauss build? What was that? Oh no, <gasps> that's a phoenix hawk with light gauss. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, a Phoenix Hawk with Light Gauss could be pretty viable. Get wrecked. No? Alright. So yeah, I stay with the King Crab. Our Light Max are already skirmishing and this seems to be the good old NASCAR here. Uh, are we dropping this? It seems like it. Way! Man, I love the jump jets on this one. But yeah, we need to get vision on the enemy. We need to figure out what their plan is and where they are going. And uh, maybe we can single out an enemy, like, like this Warhammer there, who seems to be out of position and he has a very weird build. He's running streaks on the Warhammer, streak twos. All right, let's see. So I want to help out my light max. I want to, I want to deliver some suppressive fire. Oh, there's a hunchback. Okay, that was solid. We got an awesome here. He's not aware of my position. He's not aware that he is uh, uh, being able to get shot. Okay, here they come. Bit of a firing line. I think I stay on the Warhammer. Hey, don't shoot me. Oh, it's a Murby. All right. Is Murby? Yeah, 
Murby's trying to get me. I'm on the awesome golf, 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 golf. It's a battle master, battle master. Not, not awesome. I thought it was an awesome. Yep, let's get up. Man, I love the build. This is so fun to play. AC10 is just so solid, and we're getting shot from the left, so I'm going to go over here. Make sure that we are not getting shot from the left anymore. Oh man. Stay on the battle master, guys. Alright, this is super risky what I'm doing here. Wow, because uh, we got that assault mag behind us, which is gladly not targeting me. What? Okay, there's a guy on my right now. I really, really hope my team takes care of it. And as you can see, another upside of the build is that it is extremely cold. You can fire, even on the very hot map here, you can fire the, the weapons forever. Ah, come on. AC tens, best weapons in the world. All right, now we turn back because we are getting pressure from the uh, the behind here. Can I target those guys? Can target that guy. All right, Sorry. guys behind us. Kill the awesome, please. Acquired. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, set that also. Ah, where's that coming from? New target. I don't want to die. Can we go for heat vision? That does help, actually. Guys, where am I getting shot from? Is that that Murby? He's the awesome. No, not quite. Cyrus? And as you can see, our oh, night vision is better. Murby is down. Uh, the rifleman is down? No, wait. No, I just hit him. Yeah, I think night vision is better in this scenario here. And we are slowly making some headway, yeah. Right, let's go for the urban mech. He has lost his MRM, which is good. So let's uh, get rid of his life. 25%. Actually, I want to go for the assault mech there. I'm on Delta. No, 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 machine guns. Spider, 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 spider. Help. Help, help. I don't want to get, get wrecked by that. No. Come on, get rid of the spider. Okay, we got a leg. I got still, <clears throat> still one AC-10 left. But apart from that, I'm pretty stripped now. <laughs> This is the strength of machine guns, everybody. This is the strength of machine guns. Let's pin Irby down. Artillery strike. I have no respect. I have no respect. Red smoke. That was my smoke, sorry. Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> I thought that the Osiris was, was coming in here, but... I, sorry, team. The war crimes have been committed here. So, six shots. Mm, let's make them count. Maybe the Osiris is coming my way again. Um, that was a pretty solid round. And this is the way how you should play the Thanatos right now. You have to play it super safe. <coughs> I would play it mid-range oriented, with short exposure, with uh, velocity-based weapons, like uh, pro no, projectile-based weapons. Um, staring down the enemy or even getting into a brawl is super risky, and I got super lucky that I wasn't a priority for the enemy here. Anyway, we got three killing blows, eight assists, uh, three kill most damage shields, 709 damage, 49 team damage, sorry. And yeah, that's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Rubelit Oasis again, and we are playing Assault. And look at that. I, I really love the map for, for this reason. I'm already in the face of the enemy here. Damn it, again, the wrong button. I wanted to pop my AC tens. I'm not afraid of the cataphract, he has LB tens. So that's not that scary at that distance. This is actually pretty good. This is a trade I want to take. Because he's splashing the damage all over to my side torsos. And it's not that pinpoint oriented. So if we continue trading hits here, I would win that. Or I would have won that. All right. Now, there's Lerms coming from the bottom. Shall we challenge the Lerm guy? Hmm. Hello. Alright, so now I'm in a very bad spot. There are enemies everywhere. On the left, on the right. My leg is already damaged. And I need to be super careful here. Yeah. I don't have enough cover for that. So that was a bad move. That was a mistake, actually. What's my team doing? I need my team to push a little bit ahead. Nope, 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 no. Nope. Don't shoot my leg with LB axis. Okay, we got a die wolf here. Lots of lerms going on. 
Guys, they have a lot of lerms. Can we push them? Can we get a little bit closer? I want to. I really want to. Thing is, I shouldn't. Ah, go away. Okay, Direwolf has dropped. I need to help him out. Otherwise, we would lose that 100 ton assault, man. Guys, we are pushing that. We are already in the fight here. Direwolf is dropping. Guys, come on. Follow up. Don't make this sacrifice in vain. It's important. I'm going for the Nova Cat Alpha. Drop this. I was hoping that he would go in there. Got him. Go for the Kid Fox. Nope. Nope. I'm missing. Come on. One good shot. There we go. Um, two and two. So, what to do? We wait until this guy drops because he overextended. Goodbye, sir. Go Bravo has weak legs. Golf, 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 golf. Uh, that guy has uh, pretty much fucked up here. Um. All right. So we need enemies. We need targets, guys. Where are the rest of them? I'm sick. Go up on that ridge. All right, I'm coming. Get away around this way. Wait, what? The other way? Okay, Delta 5 then. Let's go for Delta 5. <laughs> I love the Urbis here. One of the Urbis lost his missile arm already. That's bad. Oh, wait. There are guys. Man, I really need to get an angle on them. How do we do that? Ah, not like this. Definitely not like this. And next time you ask for a push, please get record in it so I actually know where it's happened. Alright. Uh, right side Delta 4 into Echo 4, maybe? Is that possible? I have no idea, guys! <laughs> That's the problem. The new map, it is, uh, is so cluttered and I need to learn this. So I'm jumping up here. Oh, Can we? Shot, ah, come on! Yeah, Surprise! Yeah, yeah, that was maybe not the best idea. Um, it, that Griffin has machine guns. As we all know, machine guns are bad against open components. So this guy is going to be my priority. Maybe not. Nope, 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 nope. Another big door. Get the side off. No, my leg is destroyed, my ammo is gone. That's it for me. Alright. Never mind. Never mind. That was hell of a brawl. Uh, I wonder if we can bring it to the end here. So let's watch the game. Let's see what my team is doing here. I mean, we got two kills, which was okay. not too shabby. But again, the Thanatos is so, so tough to play. It is just such a big, boxy mech. Uh, Timberwolf with the Lerms here, trying to get his best shot at the commando, which he shouldn't. He should regroup with the team immediately. So, guy, dude, uh, Mar Marudia, there, is, there are so many enemies on the right side. Don't, don't do that. No, okay, never mind. Um, yeah, now, now shielding does nothing. You need to get into the fight, but... Mm, Alright. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, I guess he's getting wrecked by that commando here. And everybody else is one of the last, last of my teammates. Yeah, it's a shame that that didn't work out as a win, but hey, you can't win all of the games and uh, sometimes it's just the way it goes, right? So, maybe, again, you can see the, the the weaknesses and strength of the Thanatos. I really like that AC-10 build. You have a lot of range. You have got some nice 20 damage pinpoint without getting hot, even on the hot map here. And I would all of you advise to take some cold builds for the next two weeks because uh, a lot of people will get this Rubelit Oasis on the battlefield here. Anyway, let's have a look at the end score. Let's have a look. Yeah, we got two killing blows, we got uh, six assists, one kill most damage dealt, 457 damage and four components destroyed. That was the Thanatos, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me, then go down below to the description, there's the link to my Patreon page and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.